This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my viewers, so we have a couple of stories here that we want to get into quickly But before we go any further, I'm going to ask you to get the golden rule out of the way Which is to hit that subscribe button Also make sure you leave a like on the video and drop a comment So I don't know how many persons are aware of the new way that ICC is actually trying to motivate players to improve their individual performances Yeah man, they are awarding the ICC player of the month and for July we see where our West Indian brethren has been nominated talking about Hayden Walsh Jr. We also have a couple of females that were nominated for the July section also but I'll give you the female part further down. So Hayden Walsh Jr. my viewers and subscribers alongside uh, Shakib Al Hassan of Bangladesh and Mitchell Marsh of Australia have all been nominated for this award and all three players had strong outings in July and are expected to, to really push the panel all the way as it relates to um, who should be selected as the winner because if we are supposed to look at it carefully then we would see that all three players were instrumental to their teams over this period here would be nice um, if our local lad would be able to clap the award and you know he ended up being the top wicket taker in the ODI and the T20 series against Australia for us so you know it would it would definitely be nice if, if Hayden Wash Jr. was able to, to get something like this and it has somewhat of a fairy, fairy tale story behind it because funny enough he wasn't supposed to even be in the in the team in the in the ODI I think it was because Rastan Chase he got injured um, he picked up a thigh injury and had to be out of that uh, series there. And Hayden Wash Jr. came in and he definitely delivered my viewers and subscribers. Uh, if my memory serves me right, he got seven wickets in those uh, three ODI matches. And in the T20 tournament, he was able to pick up 12. So basically heads and shoulders above everybody else. So where West Indies is concerned, he would definitely be the man to be nominated because we didn't really have anybody else performing like that in, in that same little period there in July. We had a couple of other good performances, you know, but uh, that, 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 those performances by Hayden Wash Jr. Was, would, would really push him above um, the other players there. Now, remember, he also got his first five-wicket haul. My viewers, you know, he is definitely a, a strong candidate because he didn't only pick up two, two, three, three wicket. He had a five wicket all, which is something that is well, um, is well looked up on in cricket. You understand? They 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 basically see that as a, a big achievement when you are able to pick up a five for, or or if it's test cricket and you get a ten wicket all. So, you know, um, Hayden Wash Jr. definitely a strong candidate. Now, Mitchell Marsh was very prolific in the in this same period you know he he was basically the spine of australia's team throughout the tour uh, i think he got around about 219 runs in those five t20s averaging 43.80 got three half centuries in the mix and paired with that he got eight wickets you know so he ended up as as the leading scorer and wicket taker for australia so he, he he will definitely have something to say about that um about that award also because he was brilliant over the period um there now shakib he, you know he's the next man that has been nominated and he had a very good outing against zimbabwe in that same period in one test if my memory serves serves me right he took a five for and he also got another five wicket all in the first odi that they played so um, Shakib really had a good outing and with the bat he also batted well getting 96 not out in, in I think it was in that first test also so Shakib Al Hassan really put in his hand up also so if you look at it you know three good candidates 
uh, Mitchell Marsh, Shakib Al Hassan, Aiden Wash Jr. And as I would have indicated, I am hoping that Aiden Wash Jr. will win this thing, my viewers, because it would be a good boost for his confidence. You understand? And he has been on the sidelines sideline so long. So for him to come in now and to, to, to start reaping benefits or, or, or start being successful, it, 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 is, it, it must be a very fulfilling um, feeling. You understand? So we, we, we definitely, you, you know we are going to have a bias towards Hayden Walsh Jr. because he's a local man, you know, and that is what that is what emotions will cause from time to time. But if we if we look at it, Michelle Mitchell Marsh was really good to my viewers. So, you know, who to tell? He had a lot of runs plus he picked up eight wickets. So, you know, he, he, he might he might even go towards Mitchell Marsh. You know, but Hayden Walsh was extremely good man. Not not Shakib Al Hassan also did well. So any anywhere go my viewers, you know, it, 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 it we can't really not knock it. Because all three men really performed well over that period. Now over to the women, uh Haley Matthews and Stephanie Taylor, they also have been nominated. Would be nice to have a clean Caribbean sweep. What you mean? Have it getting a clean Caribbean sweep, man, with the with the late with Hayden Walsh Jr. And one of the, 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 the females winning. You know, Hale, um, Stephanie Taylor, she had a good see, um, series, both with the bat and the ball. You know, Matthews also did pretty well. I think she got a century in that, uh, in that little period there. Also, when, when they were able to take care of Pakistan. So, yeah, man, we, 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 we would have give a thanks if, 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 the, if the two West Indian them win it still. I understand. Yeah, man. So as we are on the female, my viewers and subscribers, there is a bit of information that I want to give you guys. So, uh, the ladies will be involved in a series against South Africa. Yeah, man. South Africa will be touring us. And uh, the series will run from August 31 to September 19. Are they about? And they will take part in eight matches. Yeah, man. It's an it's a eight match. Um, it's eight matches that will be involved in, that, that they will play in this series. Uh, and it's going to go down in Antigua. I think it's run about uh, three, uh, five ODIs and three T20s. Now, these games will be used to, as preparation for the ICC World Cup qualifiers. So, the, the ladies will be looking to, to try and see if they can get automatic qualifier, um, automatic qualifying spot for the ICC World Cup. So, this series here will give them an opportunity to really fine-tune everything, make sure that they are clicking on us, firing on our cylinders. You understand? See who the best 11, um, who the best 11 players are, what, they, what sort of strategy they need to use going into those qualifiers so that everything runs smooth. But, um, yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, a bit of good news, you know? Uh, our female Stephanie Taylor Matthews getting nominated alongside Hayden Wash Jr., so as as the I'm not exactly sure when this award will be given out. I, I I am assuming that it is sometime here in August that they will come up with the with the winner. And you know, as soon as the winners are selected, be it West Indian or not, I, I will definitely give you guys an update as to how that would have would have um finished off. So uh pretty interesting my viewers and subscribers. You know, but at least we have a couple of players, you know, that are clapping, are well, are being nominated for individual awards. You know, the team might not be where we are at, where we want to be, but at the end of the day, if people continue to 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 um to to pull their own weight, then you know, shortly the the team will maybe be able to 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 put together a good run. But um, that is basically it pertaining to, pertaining to those two stories. And as I close out the video, my viewers and subscribers, I just want to rem remind you guys that the first test will go will start uh, tomorrow at Sabina Park. And we will definitely have West Indies going up against Pakistan, which will, which will, which will, which will no doubt be, be um, a good test for, for our players that are coming in. You know they haven't they haven't played any any 
real competitive cricket uh, most of them since that test against south africa so we are not sure what sort of form they are in but whatever it is we we're definitely going to be backing them and we're hoping that they will be able to be victorious so we're going to leave this one right here for now my viewers and subscribers but just continue to stay tuned to the channel we have over 400 odd videos on the channel so if you are if you are a new subscriber just stick around and go and browse and listen to some of the content now sports to the bone keeping it informed please remember to like and share leave a comment if you have not yet subscribed go right ahead and subscribe to the channel my peeps i'm out